greens. You know, I just can't get enough green eyeshadow and we're here to talk about more. And I'm excited, if you're a green lover like me, I'm gonna be sharing some of my favorite, special, beautiful, shimmery green shadows with you today. Now, if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos, including more green eyeshadow, I am sure. So this video pretty much stemmed from this last month's uh, Build Your Own Palette video that I always do with Kara from Beauty and the Frizz. And I mean, it's hard for me to pick out 10 shadows anyway, but when we were doing this like lucky, if you will, this lucky themed eyeshadow palette, and you know, we knew it was gonna be centered a bit around greens, I was like, how am I supposed to just pick out not only, not even 10 green eyeshadows, but you know, a cohesive palette. So they aren't all green. So I was like, well, th this can't be it. This can't be it. <laughs> I have to go ahead and do another green single eyeshadows video. So that's what we're doing. Uh, I will say that my look, by the way, today is from that Build Your Own palette. So if you do want to see what I picked out for that palette, I will go ahead and have that video linked down below because none of the shadows that I used in that palette are here in this one because that just wouldn't make sense, right? So uh, some of those are definitely some of my favorite greens. So make sure you check that out. But today is a completely different set of 12 shadows. These aren't by any means a cohesive palette. I'm just sharing with you some of my favorite sparkly, beautiful green shimmers. All right, so let's take a little peek inside my palette right here and you can see the goodness. Now, of course, I will be live swatching these for you, but I'm also going to give you a zoomed up look and then that way, hopefully you can, you know, really get the vibe for these shadows. So come on in and we will get to swatching. All right, we're gonna start out this little swatch fest with sort of an homage um, and a bit of a dupe story. So this is Sydney Grace Escape and this shadow, uh, is a dead ringer and a dupe for Makeup Geek Jester, at least Makeup Geek's Jester in the original foiled eyeshadow, the circle pan. Uh, I, I put that one in this palette and because I, I'm telling you, the closing of Makeup Geek is the end of an era, not only for, you know, indie makeup, but for YouTube, for just the vibe of YouTube. Anyway, um, so I put that one in here, but you can't get that one. And I did check and even the new uh, matrix formula, if you will, is not available on the website anymore because of course they're closing out. They were doing a 40% off sale. They still are, but most things are starting to leave. So if you really wanted to get that shadow, this one is a, a very good solid dupe. So what I love about this shadow is it is a green, it's like, it's like a limey olive. That's gonna be, that's gonna be what I go with. So it has this beautiful, like slightly dusky hue, but the shimmer to it is really, it's almost got like a goldy lime. So I love this one. Now that you can't get it at Makeup Geek, I just wanted to be able to show you one that you could get at Sydney Grace, another great indie brand. All right, this is another fun one. This is Electric Mint from uh, Glam Shop. Wow, moment there. So you can see, I mean, this just has this beautiful, it's like a sheer base. Um, but it can be built up a little bit, but it just has this, I don't know, beautiful, almost like, it just reminds me of like an insect in the best way. It's got like a ultraviolet purple shift to it. Let me see if I can grab just a little bit more. This is definitely going to be one that uh, you'll probably see a little bit better once I'm doing um, something that's a little bit more low light. All right, I did go ahead and turn down my center light just a little bit so that you can see that a bit better. But oh, if you can see on my finger here, it just has that beautiful like minty base and that like shift of that almost like teal to purple, like that minty to purple. Oh, I just love it. Okay, <laughs> and then you get me talking about greens and I just, I just go crazy. Now, I do have to say that the one thing that I found interesting in this is I really don't have what I would consider like a quote unquote basic green in here, like a Crayola green or like a, your, I don't know, your basic green. And I, I really don't even have a lot of those in my collection, but I do have just about every other kind of green imaginable. So these are all to me really kind of like offshoots and like something special about these greens. So this one is, I think a very popular one from Glam Shop. This is Smash Hit. And by the way, um, I did 
compare this to the one that I put in my um, Build Your Own palette. So I'll actually just pull this one out right now. This is Davina Earthshine. This is one that was in my um, in my Build Your Own palette. So you can see they are a little bit different. So Smash Hit is just a little bit deeper than Earthshine from Davina. And it also, it doesn't have quite as much of that like sparkle particle to it. I'm just trying to like smooth this out a little bit. This is really pretty. Uh, I do have Earthshine on from Davina as my inner corner right now. So there is a difference there, but these are really pretty. And I'm just realizing I'm gonna have to start putting these babies a little closer together <laughs> so you can see all of them. Uh, I feel like this is one of those shades that, you know, definitely works best with either a glitter glue or a wet brush. A finger swatch just doesn't always do those types of shades justice, but she is a very, very lovely one. All right, here is a green with a little bit of fun. So you can see you've got that beautiful shift. This is Asteria from Davina, and this one is definitely like a green to red kind of moment. Um, you're definitely gonna see, I bet, in these swatches, like a little bit more of that red come through compared to, you know, these other greens, but uh, I, I promise you, <laughs> I promise you there's some green in this one. It's so funny when I was organizing all my like Davina special shades, which, it's hard to say because like, I feel like all of Davina's shades are special. So there you can like kind of see that shift. Uh, some of them, when I did my full Davina um, collection swatch video, which by the way, I'll have that link down below too, if you want to see that. But uh, <laughs> sometimes in the pan, I was like, oh yeah, this belongs in here. And then I go to swatch it and I was like, I don't know where to put the shadow. It's just, there's so many colors in it, but this is a great one. Uh, it just creates such easy, quick, special looks. I mean, around the holidays, this is just such a fun one to like have for your like red and green vibe, but in such a cool way. So Asteria is definitely one that I truly do love. All right, this one I was hesitant to, to do because I know that it stains a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. <laughs> this one is a Wizard from Glam Shop, and this is one of their velvet shadows. So to me, the velvet shadows um, are such a special formula because they are almost like a satin formula with tons of micro glitter. So to me, uh, Wizard is this like teal bluey green with lots of like emerald green micro shimmer to it. So, I mean, I guess you could call this like a blue green or a green blue, but I will never be doing a like my favorite blues. <laughs> So this is gonna be as, as close to blue as a favorite green for me can get, but you'll definitely have to see this one up close too because she's a beaut. All right, here is one that I debated not putting in here because you can't get it anymore, but it would not be being true to my soul. <laughs> it would not be being true to my soul if I didn't show you this one. This is the OG Zombie from Davina Cosmetics. This is from the Laveau collection, and this was the original formula. Uh, the new one is still very beautiful, but it has a bit more of a purple to it, whereas the OG Zombie uh, has more of this like grungy, murky, I don't know, almost like maroon. Wow, that is not a very good swatch, but I am doing this with my left hand, you guys, so how am I doing for a left hand swatch? So you can see it has like that like murky funk to it, and I just, I love the shadow. I love the shadow. I am so blessed to have gotten this one. Um, the new, like the Zombie Re Reborn is very pretty and it's probably even more like sparkly if that's your jam. Uh, but there's just something about the tones of this one that just like gives me those like mm, really good grungy satisfied vibes. Okay, on the complete opposite side of the spectrum, we have Terra Moon's Radiation. So first we had grungy and now we have like neon AF. This shade is something special. Uh, this one is, it literally, it just kind of looks like it's been plugged into a wall. <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh, this is such a good one. So this, I mean, look at that. It just looks like it catches the light like anywhere you go. Oh my gosh. I, right away when I swatched this, I was like, why haven't I been using this one? This one is going on my face this week. This might be what I wear on St. Patrick's Day as my like green. Cause I feel like it's, Oh, look at that, as it catches the light, it's just so pretty. I'm so excited. It's so funny though, as we like move up into some of these, how not green <laughs> some of these are looking now. I swear, I swear they're green. But you know, if they all looked the same, this would be a boring video, right? All right, another sparkly one that is more into your true green. This is probably gonna be one of the closer ones to like a true green, but it does have a beautiful shift. This is Davina Rainbow Blossom. There is just something about this one that really is that like, 
this is probably the closest to that like typical green as far as the shade goes. This is gonna be kind of a weak swatch since it's my pinky. Okay, there we go, that's a little better, sorry. <laughs> like pinky swatches aren't always that great, but so I guess this is closer to that traditional like Kelly green. Let me tilt so you guys can see the shift there, but it's just so sparkly and pretty and it does have a bit of like a bluer shift and then it gets a little bit more of that like yellow green in the light. So it's definitely a fun one and more of like a, along the lines of like a classic green. Four more to fit on my forearm here. We can do it. <laughs> so this one is another Sydney Grace shade and this is Chameleon Air. And this is another one that I haven't pulled out in a while. And there is just something about this. So this I think is considered as one of their, I don't know if they call it a duochrome or a multi-chrome, but it is not the most shifty shade that I have by any means, but there is just something to the tones of this. I mean, look at that. It just looks, it looks like I could see a motorcycle painted this color or something. <laughs> like that's, to me, it's just like the chrome version of a green. And it definitely had, it does have a blue to green shift or green to blue, however you want to say that. Let me just smooth this out a little bit more. So it's just, it's so, so smooth and pretty. Let me tilt, there we go. So that way you can see that a little bit better. There's just something so pretty to it. And I have two of the duo slash multi-chromes from Sydney Grace. And again, the shift of them isn't overly spectacular, but the feel of them and the finish of them is gorgeous. So there is something to be said about that. So here we are coming into another uh, velvet shadow from Glam Shop. And this one to me is truly special. This is Abracadabra. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but this one is like a, like a funky olive green. And then it has like a pinky gold shimmer running through it. So I'm gonna get this one swatched because I just, I can't explain it well. All right, so again, these velvet shadows, they aren't the most foiled because the base really is like a more like satin. I don't even think it's like a matte shadow, but it is definitely a little bit more satin. But you can see here, like especially if I turn my flesh a little bit, can you see right here where you get that like pinky, almost like an, almost like an ambery red reflect to it. And that's from that little micro spark, so. This is so pretty. I love wearing this one just like all over the lid with a little bit of another green in the crease or even like a bit of a brown. Uh, it just, it's just such an easy, quick look and I really love it. So a very, very bright one. <laughs> and I, I actually talked about this on my Instagram stories uh, just a little bit ago. This is Pretties For Your Face Slimer. And this shade, I mean, this is one of those times where I just like to tell people like, Pretties for your face, so for me, in all honesty, and I mean, I've, you know, gotten the chance to collab and create a couple shades with this company. Uh, they have some amazing hidden gem shadows. I do think that some of the formulas are a little bit hit or miss just because some of them are very, very flaky, and I don't think that you know that until you get them. So I always say investigate swatches, but I mean, this shadow, I think, at full price is like $5, maybe $6. And usually you can find, you know, 50% off sales. And then of course you have affiliate codes like my own that can save you 20%. By the way, if you want my affiliate codes for both Davina and Pretty for Your Face, it's just keep beauty real. But uh, this shade, I mean, I pulled out Cleona Orb, which in the pan looks somewhat similar to this, but this just has so much more impact. Wow, look how stained my fingers are getting. I mean, look at that impact. and. I love Cleona's Orb too, but there's it's a little bit more sheer, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but if you're looking for that like high intensity like lime, because this is a little bit lighter and has like a maybe a more silvery shift to it than Radiation does. That's the Terra Moons one that's like up higher. So this is Radiation. And so you can see like this is almost like has a little bit of a blue, whereas this has more like green and almost like silvery white to it, but that is like, it's so intense and it's so pretty for a shade that on a sale with the discount code, you get it for like $2.50, $3, like that's insane. So I love this one. Uh, this one is definitely gonna be coming out this spring. It's just, it to me is the epitome of spring. So here is our last shade, and this is a Cleona round pan that I brought in. Like I said, I did not put in Orb, but I did put in Eye of Newt. 
because this one is really so pretty. I almost put this in my Build Your Own palette, uh, in the Lucky palette, but I actually pulled in a different circle pan. So this to me can make a really beautiful lid shade. Sorry again for the pinky swatch. Uh, or it could make, you know, a beautiful like inner corner shade. I really wonder what this would look like as a highlight too. Like if you, if you like those fun different highlights, like, oh, it's just so pretty. So this was our last shade. These are all of my favorite greens, the greens that I found special enough to take the time <laughs> to dig through all of my single shadows that I have and share with you. I am going to give you up close looks so that you can see them in detail. All right, starting with the shade closest to my wrist, we have Sydney Grace Escape, Glam Shop Smash Hit, Divina Asteria, Glam Shop Wizard, and Divina OG Zombie, the original zombie. I'm trying to like give you guys a little shift here just so that you can see that. I swear to God, Asteria does have some green. I don't know, I don't know why it's not showing, but it, it really does. And then here, starting with that brighter green, you have Terra Moon's Radiation, Divina Rainbow Blossom, Sydney Grace Chameleon Air, Glam Shop Abracadabra, Pretties for Your Face Slimer, and Cleona Orb. And we'll try to give you guys a little motion in the light. It's hard to get closest to my elbow. There you go. All right, lovelies, that's it. That is 12 of my favorite green shades. I hope you did enjoy. I know I had a lot of fun with this one. I was worried that I'd be going to yoga class looking like a green zebra, but most of the shades came off no problem. Uh, I will again make sure to have all of the shadows that are available linked down below and if i do have any discount codes i'll have those available for you as well so you can save some money and thank you if you do choose to use those and support my channel speaking of supporting my channel don't forget to give this video a like if you did enjoy it thank you all so much for taking some time out of your day to spend it with me and i will see you really soon